The 82 game preseason is in the books and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the play-in tournament through the finals, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and much more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use code Shannon. New customers can bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's the code, Shannon, only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us to another episode of Nightcap Play in Tourney Style. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number zero, Hibachi Man, Arizona Wildcat alum, legend, Gilbert Arenas. Thank you for joining us. Guys, please make sure y'all hit that like button. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button um, to help us grow. We greatly appreciate you. Appreciate all of those that's been with us from down one from day one, and all of you guys that have come on and stayed with us. So thank you again for joining us for another episode of Nightcap and supporting us by hitting that like and uh, subscribe button. Please make sure you guys subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and listen to us through the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shea by Laportier. We're only taking pre-orders. Uh, we're going to pin the uh, the link in the chat later. Uh, we hope to have it back in stock where you guys can just order and it gets shipped out to you in a very uh, within a, a matter of three to five business days. Uh, that's on the way. Thank you guys for showing patience because uh, we did not expect the demand uh, that we have. And so uh, that's thanks to you. Um, also, we have nominated for a Webby Award for Best Sports Podcast. So, guys, please, we pinned that link in the chat. So, please make sure you guys go vote for us. N Nightcap, Up, uh, Gail, and Ocho, uh, the Webby Award Best Sports Podcast. Thank you guys for voting for us. I think we have like a day and a half. I think the uh, the window for voting closes Thursday at midnight, correct? Thursday at midnight. Mm -hmm. 11.59. Uh, <laughs> guys, please help us go and go vote. Please also make sure you like and subscribe to Gil's Arena's channel on YouTube. He has a show that airs every Monday through Thursday live at 11.30 a.m. Pacific. That's Gil's Arena, his YouTube channel, airs Monday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. He also has a personal page, and it's called No Chill Gil. That's No Chill Gil. That's Gilbert Arena's personal page. Hey, Go like, go uh, subscribe and help him get these subs up. Gil, we're going to jump right into it. The Lakers hold off the Pelicans in the play-in tournament. They win 110 to 106. They beat them pretty, uh, beat them by 16, I think, on Sunday. With that win, the Lakers now to face the defending champs. The Lakers are the seventh seed. They face the two seed Nuggets in the first round of the playoffs, which start Saturday. The Pelicans will play the Sacramento Kings in an elimination game for an opportunity to host, to, uh, excuse me, not to host, but to play the OKC Thunder, who are the number one seed. LeBron James had a team high 23 points to go along with nine assists, nine rebounds. D'Lo had it going pretty good tonight, 21 points, seven assists on 5'11 from three. 80 put up 20 points, notched the game high, 15 rebounds. Zion Williamson, 40 points, but walked to the locker room late in the ball game uh, with what Willie Green 
Willie Green later described as left leg soreness. For you to leave a game of that magnitude, mm-hmm. I think it's a little bit more than soreness. We'll talk about that as we go, Gil. But what did you? Okay, Shams, where is it at? You didn't put it up here yet. It's not up here. That's what's it. Well, y'all got Shams on speed dial or something? Uh huh. <laughs> uh, Shams is reporting it's a left hamstring injury. Left hamstring injury. Like I said, Gail, you're not leaving a game of this magnitude with so much on the line with a little soreness. You're going to play through that because guess what? You win that ball game, you get Wednesday off, you get Thursday off, you get Friday off, and you have an opportunity to play Saturday. If you lose this game, guess what? You got to flip it around and play Thursday, and then you have to probably probably play again on Saturday if you were to win that game. So we knew something was seriously going on with Gail. Uh, with that situation, excuse me, with, uh, okay, Sean says it's believed that he suffered a left hamstring injury tonight. Test uh, coming uh, Wednesday. Zion and Brandon Ingram combined for eight total minutes in the fourth quarter. Um, it seems like B.I. was on a minutes restriction because, Gail, you remember he missed the previous 12 games with mm-hmm. that left knee contusion. He played Sunday on a minutes restriction, played tonight on a minutes restriction. But what you saw tonight, the Lakers, they pull it out, got jump out to a big lead, big lead, got a little reckless, got a little careless, ended up closing the ball game out late. What did you like about what you saw from the Lakers besides the win? And what did you dislike? Um, you know, D'Lo came out playing very well, right? Uh, he yes. uh, jump started, um, you know, that first that first half, right? You know, he hit some big, big threes you know, to get the game going. And then from there, we played pretty solid. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, there's a couple of times where we do a lot of standing around. Yeah. A, bunch of, a bunch of plays that just doesn't make sense logistically, right? Um, yeah. I remember uh, AD bringing the ball. Le- LeBron is right next to him, right? Instead of giving LeBron the ball to do a pick and roll, he brings it up. They do some phantom stuff to give LeBron the ball to do the same pick and roll. Like, why are we out here wasting energy like this? Yeah. You know, uh, from there, I did like Gabe. You know, I'm going I'm to call him by his real name. He, he deserve it. Yeah, After, he did, he played good. To, he played right, well tonight. Uh, um, I don't – I'm not sure how he picks up girls being an NBA player because he's little. So I know that gets a little confusing sometimes. Lord have mercy. Uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he has to prove – he has to pull out some ID on that one. Um, But for the most part – I think we played solid. Only uh, eight turnovers. Yeah, we, you we can, can live, you, very well. You yeah. can live. You can live with that, Gil. Eight turnovers. You got seven blocks. You had eight steals. You only had eight turnovers. You forced uh, twelve turnovers. Uh, so you could live with that. I just thought late in the shot clock, uh, uh, LeBron let him off the hook. Bro, why are you holding the ball? You dribble the ball for twelve seconds. You hold it, and then you throw up a shot with like three, two, six. Or three, two, one, bro. Get especially because the offense had grown stagnant. So mm-hmm. now let's get some type of action that we get somebody moving instead of just standing around. LeBron go to the pick and roll. He gets the switch. He throws the hand up. They throw it to him, and now he's at the top of the key. Everybody's standing around. What you gonna do, LeBron? You gonna make a move? You gonna drive? You gonna drive and kick? What you what are you looking for? I just thought there was a lot of that, especially the last five minutes of the ball game, Gil. I thought there was too much of that going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it, it's it's it seemed like we were just trying to give the game away. Yeah, um, you know, it, it became a basket for basket at the end. Um, there was too much hope. You know, the last two minutes, um, we made we we just made more plays. You know, at the end, but you know, my my thing with with a team like um, Pelicans. Why would you have a player on minute restriction? Either you play him or you don't. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if you lose this game, you have another game. Right. right? So don't put minute restrictions, lose this, then minute restrictions the next game too. You know what I mean? So either you should have went all out to win this game or 
see you Thursday anyway. I just right. don't like the whole idea of minute restriction because that means you're not following the game in real time. That means you're clock watching. And if you're right. clock watching, if he's playing well, you're going to take him out at the wrong time, mm -hmm. which always usually happens, right? right. So um, I didn't like that idea. And hopefully Denver does that in the first round. Because you know Murray's on mini restriction. Murray on no minute restriction. I know. I, I just wish for, that, wish for thinking. No, I need Jokic on the. I need Yoke on a minute restriction. <laughs> hey, Murray is fine, but if we get Yoke playing somewhere around twenty five to thirty minutes a night, I'd be okay with that. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I thought, but LeBron seemed tired tonight because I saw him miss like three or four layups. Gil, I'm talking yeah. about point blank. I'm talking about I could have made those. Yeah, but it seemed like his legs. You know, he played, he played a lot of minutes the other night. Um, and then the comeback, he played 41 minutes tonight is nice because at one point, Gil, he was five or nine. He ended up six or twenty. I think he missed like nine shots in a row. Yeah, no, yeah. He did miss some easy, easy, easy around the rim buckets. Um, you know, it happens, right? You know, um, especially especially with someone like him. Um, he gets to the gym one, two o'clock. And he's preparing for the game. So mm -hmm. he's really on his feet and doing a lot of active work. When when he's when he's energized, looks great. When he's normal, looks great. But those days where he looks fatigued, he's really fatigued. Right. Yeah. Um, one time he kind of got, he was going a little bit too fast. He made a great move. And then he was traveling too fast. He missed a couple of point blank. Zion got him from behind. He did. A uh, uh, uh. He been doing uh, that his whole goddamn career. <laughs> you know, guys. Hey, look, he don't have no breaks. No, no, no. He all he all he he wants speed. He wants speed. Once yeah. he speed. Once get going, once he get going, it's hard to it's hard to stop a a, a dump truck going forty miles an hour because yeah. if you're not paying attention, you slamming in the back of somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were able to pull it out. Like I said, Zion was playing unbelievable. You came. He came out tonight. He was extremely aggressive. He wasn't going to make you make him settle for jump shots. He was dipping that shoulder, got a couple of charges, but I'm going to the basket. Now stop me. Uh, 40 points, 11 rebounds, five assists, a steal, a block. Mm -hmm. uh, in 36 minutes, 17 of 27 from the field, uh, six and nine from the free throw line. I thought Zion played unbelievable. Uh, Herb Jones hit a big three. He walked into a three, kind of got their rhythm going. Um, Alvarado, you know, Grand Theft Alvarado, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he came in there doing what he normally does, picking people's pockets. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be a very interesting matchup. Well, look, I'm not giving them much of a chance if Zion doesn't play. If Zion doesn't play, I'm not picking them to beat Sacramento. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. And that's, you know, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, um, I don't want to like minimize someone, but Zion, the way he was playing tonight, and he's a central piece, and B.I. is probably going to be on another minutes restriction. And C.J., C.J., uh, you know, he came back down to earth because for the last 10 games, C.J. would have been off the charts. Yes. Like, especially like last seven games, I think he was averaging like 30, shooting 50% from the three. He came, and reality kicks in sometimes. Uh, um, Zion. Couldn't happen, at a better, couldn't happen at a better time. <laughs> Zion, look, <laughs> whatever money that he lost last year, he earned it. Yeah, he earned it back. The, the three years that wasn't guaranteed, he earned that money back, right? right. Uh, you know, he played seventy something games. Yeah, he did. He he came he came towards the end. He was playing great basketball. So I know they're hopeful going into the summer, going into next year. So you know, them getting to the playoffs or not is really not important to them right now. The fact that. You finally have a healthy Zion going into the summer. You know, right. I don't know how um, this hamstring is. Hopefully it's not too serious where he's not missing big chunks of time in the summer. So I'm very, very proud of the guy. And, um, you know, I can't wait to see what he does next year. But for them as a group, I mean, they can just let it go. Right. Um. Uh... So, because they won this ball game, the Lakers are the seventh seed. I mean, the two seed, seventh seed. They played the two seed, which is the defending champs, the Denver Nuggets. Mm -hmm. Last year against the Nuggets, against the Lakers, Nikola Jokic averaged 28 points, 14 and a half rebounds, 12 assists, 
on 51% shooting from the floor, 47% from the three, hence sweet, sweet. What does what does the Lakers have to do? Because the Lakers are the best team in the clutch. Uh, last five minutes, game within five points. Pulled another one out tonight. Them and the Mavericks had the best records in the NBA. So we know the Lakers know how to win close ball games, although you couldn't probably tell from last year because they had a couple of situations where the Nuggets just out-executed them, put them in the pick and roll, dribble drive handoff with Yoke and Murray, and Murray took the game over. If he didn't take it over, Yoke took it over. So what do the Lakers need to do? Because you're not going to stop him, but you got to slow him down. You can't let him have 28, 15, and 12. Um, It's not last year, but, you know, the confidence is on Denver's side, of course. Yes. We are a great – we are a great last five-minute teams against everybody but Denver. But the Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> but the Nuggets, right? Um, mm -hmm. The way they play the game, we know between the two stars, they are making every single play. Right, mm -hmm. either Murray's making a play for himself or others, or Jokic is making a play for himself or others. So yes. the last five minutes, those two guys are generating everything that's going on. If it's a close game, we have to the Lakers have to understand that there's two guys, two guys only. They're gonna play the two-man game, and we have to figure out how to control it. Um, and on and on offense. We don't need no defense inside the game, right? And you know, Torian Prince, I'm sorry, not right now, right? Wow. Not right now. Put Rui in, put Reeves in, have d -Lo. We If we're going to play two-man game, we need all shooting threats on the, on the court. We don't need nobody trying to play defense because the guy you're going to be guarding is sitting in a – you're going to be guarding – KCP, he ain't going nowhere. He going to be in the corner somewhere, all right? right. We don't need your expert, you know, defense in a corner. <laughs> so, therefore, you don't need to be on the court right now. So, right. hopefully, we don't have one of those defensive lineups in the game at the wrong time. Other than that, <laughs> we, COVID, hey. we're going to need COVID 2024. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> AD, AD, AD is going to need to play like he played uh, when they were in the bubble and he went up against Jokic. He's going to have to probably give you slightly more than what he averaged. He's probably going to have to be somewhere around 28 and 15 a game because he's going to have to look. If you say you're two stars, if mm -hmm. you say LeBron and AD neutralize, so whatever they give you offensively, AD and LeBron, uh, whatever Yoke and Murray gives you offensively, LeBron and AD gives you offensively. Now you make it a series. Michael Porter Jr., uh, Aaron Gordon, and KCP against Rui, D'Lo, and Austin Reeves. Who we can win that. See, I, I, listen, listen, listen. If we get the D'Lo, if we get – Oh, yeah. I'm about to cut your ass, D'Lo. Whoa, if we get him, good, they good. <laughs> hey, hey, they should be telling him, hey, hey, we about to ship your ass to – Right. Niagara Falls, you better get in here and get the buckets. If we get D'Lo playing how D'Lo's been playing and not that D'Lo we had last year in the playoff, well, in that round, we should be fine. Because he he has to match Murray point for point. If he could, if Murray's averaging 20 and D'Lo's averaging about 15, we win in that series. But if he right. got four... No, Murray, no, 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 he can't, he can't do that. Ball. No, he, 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 can't, he can't do that. Um, you know, they come off the bench, Reggie Jackson. So our bench is going to have to Reggie, but, and Braun, those, those are your energy guys. Those are you guys, you know, when you're at home, the crowd get behind you, he's going to get a couple of rebounds. He's going to get a lob Reggie, you know, Reggie Jackson, man, he, hey, man, he plays good in big games. Uh, 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 Gil, he does. It, you know what? I'm going to just say, listen, we just got to put some Detroit Pistons Detroit Piston signs out there, because for some reason, <laughs> just little, just put the Detroit Piston signs out there, and hopefully he he reverts back. But this is like my last week of rooting for my Lakers. Unfortunately, on I got not beating the Nugget. I got hit with a what is that called? We had to do pull teams out of a hat 
Yeah. I, I think it's I think it was rigged because they gave me the two teams that I don't like, right? I got I got Doc and Milwaukee. So oh, I got you you done, you done the first round. Yeah, and then I have the the, the Clippers. So I got a root for the Clippers. Yeah. I might be done the first round. Yeah, hey, I, hey, hopefully we I, hopefully I lose both so I can start voting for my Lakers again. <laughs> but I got a straight cheer for the Bucks and the Clippers during the playoffs. Without Giannis, first of all, the Bucks were struggling with Indiana with Giannis. Mm -hmm. Because that's not a good matchup. Indiana's looking to push the pace. Brooke right. Lopez ain't keeping up. Porter's oh, yeah. not keeping up. And so that's not a good matchup for them. We have a poll up right now. Uh, Gail, do the Lakers have a chance against the Nuggets? Lakers in seven, 46%. Gentlemen sweep, 31%. Sweep, 13%. Nuggets in seven, 10%. So we got a lot of Laker fans here because they say the Lakers are going to take it in seven. Woo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I, got, I got a couple more days because once the playoffs start, I'm a flipper fan. <laughs> More uh, new poll, more delusional fans. Laker fans or Cowboys? Cowboys running away with this. Cowboys for sure. Three to what? Three to what? <laughs> Cow the Cowboys. Kings, the Kings beat the Warriors tonight, 118-94. Keegan Murray had 32 points, nine rebounds on eight of 13 shooting from the three-point line. He had more points and threes than the Splash Brothers combined. Golden State spent $382.5 million on their roster this season. $205 million, $206 million in salary, and $177 million in, in, the, in the tax penalty, luxury tax. Was this the last time we see the big three as we know it? Because Steph, uh, Clay really, really struggled tonight. If I'm not mistaken, he was 0 for 10 from the floor, and I think he was like 0 for 6 from the three-point line. So, do you believe, Gil, this was the last time that we see the big three as we know it? I, you know okay, what? Okay, is a hell of a drug. Oh, I have no idea, to be honest, because, you know, if Clay's going to take a pay cut, then, then yes, I'm pretty sure he'll sign back. Um, I know making the case, this is when you know Clay is really, really having a hard time not being signed. The fact that you've already had a horrible season, right? right? The one game you can get to get your value back up, you put out a zero, which is the first time he was scoreless in about 159 playoff games. Wow. His worst Playoff performance is the last thing we're going to remember when he's going into free agency. So if I'm him, I don't know if he signs a one-year deal. If he wants a four-year deal, it's going to be oh, no. four-year 30. It, it ain't going to be what his real value is. So whoever gets him, they stealing him, right? right. Um, so I, do, I don't see... Him going anywhere else, I do see Warriors getting him for a very cheap price. Yeah. Uh, it seems like he only shoots really good against the Lakers. Think about every time he comes to the crib, how he shoots the ball, Gil. Yeah. You remember the last two times he showed up? Yeah. Not the Lakers out of the building. Steve Kerr said after the loss, we need Clay back. He still has good years left. We des desperately want him back. Chris Paul, 19 seasons, zero championships. Only Vince Carter, 22 seasons. Jamal Crawford, 20 seasons, have played more seasons without winning a ring. Ring. Is Chris Paul back? Ooh, nah, he ain't back. Oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, this way, this Chris Paul's first. This is the first time he missed the playoffs in about 14 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know he's salty because he's a competitor, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, he he's a competitor, so you know, I well, feel sorry for well right now, Gil, he he complete he competing against Father Time. He ain't competing against nobody, nobody on the court. It's Father Time. And he I, and Father Time with it. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for those guys, right? The 
the Chris Pauls, the Steve Nash, the John Stocktons, um, because of this, the idea of who they are, right? They are there to get you better, to make yeah. you look better than you really are. So there's guys Chris Paul made look good that got paychecks off of his passing ability. Yes. And the fact that these guys are not being rewarded with the ring is like, why do you do it? Right? Mm -hmm. You got guys out here scoring 30, 40 winning rings. You got guys averaging full five points, starting winning rings, and a guy who's who's a top 75 all time. Delivering contracts. That's what he out there delivering contracts, and then he goes and he can't complete his career. But I look at it like this. Him winning the ring doesn't put him above magic. He's not above it, uh, you know what I mean? If he's not in front of John Stockton, you win a, a ring at the end of your career, you playing minimal minutes, that doesn't do it for me. Like, you winning the ring being the guy lets me know where you are. So if you're in front of John Stockton or not in front of John Stockton, that's where you are with or without the ring. Right. You don't get... You don't get in front of them because you win a ring coming off the bench averaging four points. That's not how that works. I, I agree. Um, so what so what what are the warriors? You hear Steve Kerr, what's he supposed to say? I think he said all the things that a head coach is supposed to say in that situation. We won't step, we won't clay back. We believe Clay uh has years left. But you don't get to be as wealthy as, as Joe Lakeham and Peter Gruber. By spending $177 million and missing the playoffs. Because mm -hmm. guess what? You can slash payroll considerably mm -hmm. and miss the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> but but um, they're, they're in this real like, I'm pretty sure they're going to offload Wiggins. Right? They're going to offload Wiggins. Right? The first thing is going to see what they can get Clay for. Right? If you can get what they offer him four year... What did four year four? No, they offered him two. Did they offer him two years at forty eight? Two year forty eight. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think that's what they offered him. Two year thirty. Two year thirty five. He takes it. Right. I'll I'll take Clay back for that price. Right. Two year thirty five. Two year thirty. Yeah, I'm taking that. He got. He's not going to get that money anywhere else. Um. So I'm pretty sure they're going to off. Um. Wiggins give Kaminga. He going to give Kaminga that uh spot. I don't mind well, Kaminga playing the 3. Well, Gil, this is what I offer you from uh for uh for Andrew Wiggins. You can have my <laughs> Commodore album. <laughs> what about BT Express? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have Cameo? Hey, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I you know what? I'm going to throw in Ohio players. Oh, you still got vinyl on? <laughs> hey, what about you like this? You got who is this Parliament? Oh, uh, but by the I time LT, hold on, I got LTD. <laughs> who is that? LTD. Yeah, Jeffrey Osborne. Love the stranger. I got yeah. Atlantic Star. Never heard of him. Elements of the universe. No. Nope. Five. Nope. The Bar Caves. No. Now, you can't have all these. Now, I'm going to give you about four or five of them. I got Big Lady Williams, because <laughs> I love you. <laughs> hey, open the eyes, another earth with the fire. <laughs> I got TP, Teddy Pendergrass. Okay, I heard of Teddy. And last but not least, the Gap Band. Never heard so, of him. I'll give you four of those for Andrew Wiggins. That's all I got. I ain't got no players. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say they're going to reject that, because I don't even think they got a machine that can play that. <laughs> hey, and I throw the penny in to hold it, to hold it down so it don't skip on you. So you, you take that penny it, down. Hey, you, you throwing that Wheaties box with everybody signed? Ah, uh, nah, 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 hell nah, hell nah. <laughs> you nah, throw nah. bottles in the back of you? Yeah. I was thinking the even swap ain't no swindle. I throw the Wheaties box in now. I'm getting swindled now. That ain't no even swap. <laughs> but, yeah, I. I it's hard to say because for the because the Golden State, can you still be the Warriors with no clay? No. Because the, the reason I say that is 
Look, they just won a championship a few years ago with this yeah, team. 22. I think once Clay gets his this this is just one of those years. All the elements that life hit hit now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, thinking about that money, wanting that money, and it probably it got to him all season. Um, he, he probably need to get on that boat, you know, shed this season. It happens. You've been you've right. been great for a long time, right? You yeah. know, you battle, you battle your knee. Nobody thought you was gonna be the same. You won a championship. Yeah, People talk leave. about it like you. It happens, mm -hmm. right? You know, you got you just gotta you, you can't just. This is one of the, the like be be grateful of the career you had. Reflect on what you've accomplished. Right. So you know where you're going next. Right. I think sometimes we we're not living in real time. Right. So we feel depressed, not realizing this legacy we actually done accomplished. And I think right. he needs to sit back and look at the trail. He done laid the foundation. He done laid, laid for his kids, his family, and himself, right? And I think once he see what he has done and sat mm -hmm. back, jumped out of his body and said, I'm the shit. Oh, no, I really, I was really that dude. Coming into next season, the pressure's gone. Uh, but, um, you you think yeah. the Warriors regret getting rid of, rid of Poole and maybe tried to move on from Wiggins? I think they regret a lot of things. Um, who going there? Obviously, they thought he was going to be the replacement of Steph, and he showed in Washington that he just can't handle the pressure as the dude, right? And, you know, but he that's got, why he's he, perfect there because he didn't have to be the dude and go to state. Yeah, true. <laughs> but, what, but, was, but, <laughs> but what happens is when Clay and Curry leaves, you used to be you supposed to be the guy to step up. You know, a tweening type of guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was it was a rough one. He's that tweener. He's like he's like right. uh, Deon Deon was it Deontay Murray? You're a tweener. That tweening yeah. card. Oh, Dejounte, Dejounte in Atlanta, yeah. the, the one that Spurs traded, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, that, he's, that, he's that he's that he's that tweener right now. I like him. He's more stable. Um, well, Weissman Weissman might might have been. That was their that was their that was their mess up going after a a big man knowing you don't use big men. You right. don't have an offense for that guy. Right. You know, that that's the, the year you should have picked uh LaMelo Ball. Um you'd have had LaMelo and so you'd have had LaMelo and what's the name? Pooh. And Pooh. And that now that's a hell of a <laughs> Yeah. Future backcourt. Right. Oh well. They got <laughs> some they got some decisions. Now watching the Olympics, watching the Paris Olympics, Wiggins go out there and try to get the USA by 40. Yeah. You know everybody, everybody try to get try to get it to the red, white, and blue once they get 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 to hey, the Olympics. If he go to Olympics and if he goes to the Olympics and score 20, they should whoop his ass when he get back to go. <laughs> 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 uh, it's time for our first segment of the night, Gil, and it's called a news cap. I guess, Gil, I said something today. I went viral um, for saying that OKC is the weakest number one overall seed we've seen recently. For the, uh, for the win, wrote an article that Ash couldn't wait to bring to my attention. They wrote, "If you had to guess, how many how many Oklahoma City Thunder games do you think Shannon Sharp has watched? More do you think? Uh, if I'm being completely honest, I'm setting the over under at five, um, considering that you writing this. That's another here and there, and that feels like I'm being a little generous because there's just absolutely no way Sharp has tapped into that many Thunder games this year." And with all that, he has to has to do. Um, hmm, let's see what Shannon Sharp Jobs requires him to do. <laughs> Watch game, dum dum. 
<laughs> I guess it's presumptuous of me to think that Sharp had to watch many Thunder games this year. But honestly, the only way I could imagine someone coming up with a hot take, he pulled out on first take today. Guys, sometimes when guys have an opinion, it's just not a hot take. That's just my opinion. I don't think it, I don't think anybody's like, oh my God, ooh, please let us avoid the thunder. Like they used to do okay, like they used to, like they did uh uh the Warriors. Like mm-hmm. they like ain't nobody really tried to gear up to play the, the Nuggets, or you know, obviously, you know, the Kobe Lakers and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Or when LeBron was in the East, wasn't nobody trying to see LeBron. Mm-hmm. But that ain't no hot take, bro. I'm just I'm looking at your team. Yeah, your team won 57 games, you're the number one seed. But you're young. You're not battle tested. So yeah. teams that are battle tested, looking at y'all like, okay, yeah, we want y'all. No, I know the Lakers. The Lakers would have given anything to play OKC in the first round. Oh no, that's facts. But w- w- did he have facts to back up his statement that they're not the worst number one team? No, in history, no, or not in history, but in the last. 15, it, it, yeah. 20, yeah, the last, 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 I would say the last 10 years. Yeah, I, the only team that I can think of that would be worse, but they were they were a star-studded. No, that was a star. He was a star, but he didn't play that much that year. After the lockout, the Bulls, the Derrick Rose Bulls. Right. Um, it was at 50 and 16, yeah. that 50 and 16 team. Well, Derrick missed 23 games that right. year, right? And that team, they were starting <laughs> shit. Carlos Boozer, um, Luau Dang, CJ Watson. Um, I think old Rip came off the bench. Was no. Joe Kim there then? Joe Kim Noah. Nobody averaged that, that team didn't even average more than 15 points. Like th- they lost and they ended up losing in the first round. Um, but because Derrick Rose missed so many games, I would say they would have been the worst number one because mm-hmm. of because he missed games due right. to you know just the ankle injury there. Right. Um, OKC, they're young, of course, right? Not experienced. The difference is they played. Those the main starting five all played seventy plus, right? Um, very young, play together, play smart, hungry, right? Right. With young teams, egos are in check, mm-hmm. right? They yeah. have a problem coming up later on, but as of right now, everyone knows their roles. Uh, Shea, Shea has played in two total playoff series uh, in 2019 with the Clippers and 2020 with the Thunder. He's 0-2 in those series. Uh, they're a young team. Um, I like the Williams kid. Uh, he's turning himself into a star. He can stroke it, put the ball on the floor, get to the rim. Mm-hmm. I like him. They got a, they got some young, talented player. I like Chet. Chet's going to challenge stuff at the rim, stretch five, can shoot the three. Uh, g- hey, he's going to protect the plane. He's coming. So you're constantly on high alert, knowing that he's lurking back there to probably throw your shot out, throw your shot in the stands. But I didn't think I didn't think I would say it was that outlandish. Um, you know, it was. It, it, it wasn't. It, it is not. I mean, come on. They, they they know they're 22. Like like that's. But that's the reason that Shea should be considered an MVP because this is the youngest. No one expected them to be here. This is a college age team. No right. one battle tested. No one is even all NBA anything. Most of these guys barely made the uh, rookie sophomore game. Right? right, so these guys have no experience, and they're here. They, they get flowers, right? Right, because as much as we're looking at this team for the future, this is it. They can't afford Jalen Williams, Chet, Josh Giddy. They can't right. afford this team, right? right? These guys are playing to a point where they're all going to be a max or super max player, and the right. fact they, that they signed Dort to that money kind of messes up the next person that's coming, which would be Jalen, right? Because you got to save money for Chet. So that means Josh, ah, you out of there, son. You're odd man out. Yeah, you're odd man out. The list of accolades, LeBron, the all out time lead score has not earned and his lustrous career is short, but he revealed on the shot there is one particular that bugs him. Let's take a listen to what Goat James had to say about the war that mm, just gnaws at it. 
Is there an award you haven't won that still stings? Yeah, defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the only award that I don't have in my house. That kind of stings. I talked about this before. Like, it don't make it don't make sense. It's almost like what Jay just said about B. How can she have the most Grammys? Yeah. But yeah. never won album of the year. Yeah. So the year I finished second in defensive player of the year award, the guy who won defensive player of the year didn't even make first team all defense. That doesn't make sense. That's not even possible. I said it. Is there an award you haven't won that still stings? I said it at the time that it happened. How do you have an? How do you have a? Let's just say, how do you have an MVP of a sport, and he's not first team All Pro, or he's not Mark Gasol is your defensive player of the year, and he's not first team All Defense? That makes. Tell me a scenario. That or an MVP that doesn't make the MVP that he's not an all pro or an MVP that doesn't make the all. I'm like, come on, bro. What y'all doing here? Hey, we're, what did they ever release the voting chart to see how those votes were? Because it looks like he got a whole bunch of. He got a whole bunch of votes for first place and probably damn near last. Right. There was no in the middle. I don't think that's ever happened in history where there was a defensive player of the year award. And this is like having an MVP, but he makes second team. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Team. Yeah. So, just, so how, how do you justify how how can somebody justify that? The league MVP is second team all in all NBA. Because that's what you had. You had a defensive player of the year that mm -hmm. was second team all defense. And, you know what? I'm going to just play devil's advocate here. <laughs> if I'm Marco Gasol, I'll say the same thing LeBron is saying. I was robbed. I won defensive player of the year, and they put me on second team. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, back then, that's when LeBron could sit in the chair. He, it, it didn't matter. He could take your best, your best player, and late in the ball game, they would put him at the five, and he'd have to guard Tim Duncan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he he could do that. Now, not for the entirety of the game. Say the last three to four minutes. They're like, hey, we got to go. This is what we're going to do. And he could do that. You put him in the pick and roll, he could go. Hey, y'all remember D. Rose when he was uh, MVP and LeBron locked him up? Yep, no, yep. Legitimately, he could guard one through five. When did Martin Soule ever become a defensive player? I mean, Tony Allen was the defensive player. Right. It was the it, it was a grit and grind team, but I, I mean it's just one of those things that just shouldn't happen. They it was 2012 I, too, I think. 2013? 2013. 2012, 2013, yeah. Yeah. Um, but also you have to remember this too. And this is why we need to go to just the AI voting. This would have been the Michael Jordan scenario. MVP, defensive player of the year. They want to get to him. He, he, had, he had one MVP. He had one final. He would have been, he would have been finals MVP, MVP, defensive player of the year. He would have had finals MVP champion. He would have had the same. It would have been the same run, and they yep. took it away from him. Yep. Right? But that, that's you, – you can't preserve history. You can't do it. It's wrong. Like, some of the things that they do is just wrong for sports. Yeah. You're – you're, you're taking accolades from people and then you're using what you did against them. You are cheating these people and then you say, well, you're not good enough because you don't have this. Well, I don't have it because of your funky ass. Right. Yeah. And that that's the unfair part about it. Like even the final, even that finals MVP where he averaged damn near 39, 13 and nine. Come on, dog. Just stop. You you know who the best player was in the finals. Just give the man this goddamn trophy and keep it moving. No, well, there was a reason there was an outroar. Like, oh my, how he win? You you don't supposed to have that on awards when people second get. If you gave it to LeBron, no one says nothing but Skip Bayless. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't know. That year, LeBron was first team All Defense. Yep. Um, like you said, that was when he was he was spry. He was in his absolute prime. He could sit in the chair for as long as you need him. 
He could play 40 minutes, guard your best one through four, and you late late the ball game, if you had a big, and you needed to go small, he could guard the five. Yeah. And they they robbed him of that opportunity. They robbed him. They There ain't no way around it. Ain't nobody you going to look at him and say, Mark Gasol had a better defensive year than LeBron James. There's yeah. no there's no way you could say it because if he had a you should have put him on the first. How do the, the how do the voters vote the man's second team, but you vote that yeah you should win the defensive player of the year? And that's and that's 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 as wild. And like they should be they they should they, 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 like the two minute report. <laughs> you know that yeah. the, the referee have two minute report. They should have a report after they finish voting to see what they were thinking because right. th- this is you know how they tell athletes we don't want don't be politicians we don't want to hear political stances from you right shut up and dribble those 150 uh voters some of them were probably saying the same thing too some of them we know just looking at who they from and where they're from they don't watch basketball how the hell do they get a vote (laughs) how do some of these people have voting rights no one take this out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mark Gasol received 31st place vote to win the award. LeBron had 18. Joe Kim Noah was the center that made first team, and he had 13 first place votes. Yeah. They just found a way not to give it. Like they was messing. It was tricky with the. It was tricky with the votes, huh? <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. You know, they, they, they finish up like, hey, Mark. man, you know, hey, hey, you know, we still got to have something to hang over LeBron's head because you know he got that's, that's his fourth MVP. He got four MVPs. He got two Finals MVPs. Man, hey, Defensive Player of the Year. Now what? He mess around and go win another. Like, you know, hey, oh what? Hey, let's just we. Because now you turn around and guess what? Giannis did it. And it's yeah. not like it. I mean, it's not uh, what you call him was a defensive player of the year. I don't know if it was the same season. Was it the same season? I think I think Elijah won. Ha- uh, Hakeem was 92? Hakeem. Nah, 93. 93? Was it 93? That was his championship, 93. Yeah, because 94, 95, 96. Yeah, 93. Yeah. Dream won the defensive player of the year. And, final, and, uh, and he was an MVP. Yeah, I don't know the defense. I don't know if the defense because I don't, I never paid attention to defense. They didn't pay well. <laughs> <laughs> Offense pays well on this side. Uh, what? What? The, yeah, he won back to back. Yep. 93, 94. And he won, he, yeah, and he won the title. He won the titles in 94, 95. Yep. And he was the MVP and he was the MVP in 93. 93. Yep, ninety three because it was Shaq's second year. Or yeah, because because that in ninety four that was the year he put that work on David Robinson because yep. David Robinson got the MVP. Remember David Robinson got the MVP and yep, people thought uh, Akeem should have got it. He said, "Okay, don't worry about. It. I got some. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I believe though. When you leave these the series, you uh-huh. gonna know who should have been the MVP of the league. And he did a, he did a demolition job on David Robinson. <laughs> He did a demolition job on everybody. Oh, everybody, yeah. <laughs> Gil, Kawhi Leonard got the final, tw- got the uh, 12th and final roster spot on Team USA for the 2024 Olympics. The 11 players are LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum, True Holiday, Bam Adebayo, Tyrese Halliburton. Steve Kerr will serve as coach for Team USA. Kawhi is averaging 24.6 rebounds for the Clippers but missed the final eight games of the regular season with knee inflammation in his sur- surgically repaired, pe- repaired knee. Training camp and ex- exhibition games uh, start happening in Vegas are scheduled for July. Might be out there by the end of that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, do you think Team USA win gold? Yeah, they're going to win gold. Yeah, they, gonna win. They, have enough, they have enough talent on it. I, 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 I just don't like I just don't like the guard play. It's 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 too we 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 got to set an example, and you're coming out there with Holiday and Halliburton right now, when it should be Kyrie and and Brunson, right? Yes. 
And this is this is how I look at it. I'm from I don't know what they've done after 96, but whatever it's been on, it's been on some friendship bracelet type of picking. Because right. 90, 92, 12 players, nine of the players were all NBA players. The yes. only the weakest, the weakest players were Magic. He didn't play that year. Bird, Becky Otomy, and then yeah. and then we had uh Christian Chris Layton. Right? Those were the three weakest league. The, everybody else. All NBA players, the 96 team, all 12 players made the all NBA that year. That means they were top 15 in the NBA. They took the best of the best. The team was so good that two players on the team came off the bench. They were averaging 27 and 11. That was Hakeem and Shaquille O'Neal. They both came off the bench on the 96 team and they averaged 27 and 11 that season. That's what we had coming off the bench in 96. And you telling me you trying to rock with Hallen Burton and I, I like Hallie because he's in the number zero, but true holiday. I don't need God. Defender. I, I don't, I don't need no defensive players. Who, who you out there stopping? What German? What who, who you? Come man, on. you hey man, you know the man. They, hey, them, they, hey, them, the, them Europeans, man. They be putting us in the pick and roll. They be back there cutting us. We but gotta I, have somebody that can defend. Yeah, can't defend. Can't can't defend. It won't put the ball in the back. Give me Kyrie. He gonna put him in the mixer too. Yeah, but you know what the thing is, uh, 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 Gil, is that what gave? Think about it, cause they got what they got fourth at the World Cup. Bigs mm -hmm. gave him a problem. Now the question is. Is Joel Embiid, how healthy is he going to be? I like Anthony Davis as a big. I like Bam. I think we got deep. We got Steph can shoot the ball, KD, Book, Ant-Man, JT. I, I, we got a solid team. I <laughs> probably agree with you. I probably would have taken, if you take Kyrie and you take Jalen Brunson, I don't think anybody mad at you. No, oh, you can't be. And, and they're going to be all NBA players this year. So yeah. I'm going off the metrics that 96 and 90, our original teams did. They took the best players in the NBA. You, 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 uh, Holiday, listen, I love what he does. But you're the fourth best player on your team right now. I don't need you right now. Yeah. Now, <laughs> right? Not right now. No. Listen, next year, next summer, Right. If we got a game, you know, all 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 NBA in the FIBA China, we need someone to go represent the the America. We can send you. This is the goal, baby. <laughs> this right. is goal. our parents is looking at this, right? We don't need you. Out there right now. <laughs> we don't need you out there right now. All right. Because he can be a scout player. He can be a scout player. You oh, just, so he go he go to exhibition to get him ready to go, yeah, but he can't go. He can't get him the bus. He can't get him to play. You, you don't get the jersey. <laughs> you can be an alternate, right? The Clippers picked up the tab on the concession during their final regular season game at the Crypt Arena. Damn, had I known that, man, I'd have went in there on a hell of nachos, burgers, fries. Gil, we should have went to the game. Not going to no Clipper game, but how much? How much? Did, 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 does anybody know how much? I mean, you figure 15, 16,000 people? Alcohol? You know how much alcohol costs? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You mean, wait, hold on. Do you mean he picked it up before? So that means when people got up there, it was like free. Yeah. Ooh. How do we know this, Unc? It was, that's what he reported. Who reported? I mean, that, that, that was the least he could do. The man worth $170 billion. I don't know what I'm saying. Did any, any fans come out and say everything was free today? That Who reported that? ABC7 reported it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worrying about them. That's that's that gimmick. I'm talking about did any fans on their phone be like, oh hey, come down to the Clipper game, everything free. I got 30 beers. None, none, none of that, huh? Then I don't believe it. I, they, look, they they probably like, you know how you you know, you know you got how you how you got to do people, Gil. Uh huh. Two beers or one, you know you can't you can't tell. Hey, it's free because everybody gonna come in there. Let me get let me get twelve beers, sixteen hot dogs, and two and, and uh two bucks of popcorn. <laughs> so we got to put limits on it. One beer, popcorn, hot dog, 
eat that, bring your ass back. Man, this ain't even your arena. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how much I need to eat. Either it's free or not. Right, don't trick me. <laughs> don't trick nah, he'll die. Nah, because you got know, a family hey, to feed down there. The Clipper tickets, they, they get in the ghetto. I got a family <laughs> to feed down here. <laughs> I need all 16 hot dogs. Because guess what? I'm walking straight up out there, Rita. I got my beer, got my hot dogs. <laughs> Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> I don't need to watch the game. <laughs> I came for what I came to get. Because, you know, so I've seen people, I've seen people come to the movies Get movie popcorn and go home. <laughs> now that's funny. Get... that's Blake funny. Griffin retired again. Six time All Star, five time All NBA, 2010 11 Rookie of the Year, All Rookie Team, 2010 11 Rookie of the Year. He also won the dunk contest by jumping over a parked car. How will you remember Blake Griffin? I re- I I remember I re- remember him as a, a a a Clipper, and the Clippers is considered the city girls of Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. I mean, he twerked his way on t- to a nice little season. That's what he did. But isn't he only thirty three? What? No, he older than that, ain't he? In two, he came in in two thousand eleven. Wait, ten eleven around that time, right? Well, remember he missed it. He met, no, he missed two thousand nine because of the knee injury. Remember he didn't play that year. He's only, but that, that's a, he's only like John he's Wall. Thirty five. He's thirty five. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, look, they called it. Yeah, but the knee sixty five. Yeah. His, his 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 I'm driving sick. license says thirty five. <laughs> you know, Lob City, Twerk City. You know, he'd be remembered <laughs> shaking his little tail in the air, right? <laughs> That's it. So, they, 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 hey, listen, they're the Clippers, man. We don't give them no respect around here. Huck. <laughs> the WNBA is at 13 teams, including the new base uh, area franchise, and they wanted to be 16 in the next few years. Where should the WNBA expand to? WNBA family friendly, and it shows Midwest type of. Um, Probably need a team in Tampa. South uh, Florida. They, they said South Florida, maybe Miami. Because here's what the, the, the let me Philly? give you the, uh, the cities. Let me give you the cities that they're contemplating Philadelphia, okay. Toronto, Denver, Portland, Nashville, South Florida. Nashville, Louisville, Kentucky. They should have a team in Kentucky. I think they pronounce it Louisville. Louisville. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Louisville. <laughs> right. <laughs> Louisville. Like they should have a they should have a team out there because they already have an arena out there. Right. They already have an arena that was meant for a WNBA team. So they have an arena that already seats 19,000. Right? right. And the the women's team, I think they do around 10 to 12. Mm-hmm. Which that can translate for the W anyway. So they already have the support system for girls basketball or for women's now. Um, South Florida, nah. I mean, you don't, they don't even want to go to the NBA games. They don't. So I they will put don't. that joint up in Tampa somewhere. Um, Philly, maybe. Um, I, I'll do Tampa, Kentucky, Philly. Kentucky? Man, they ain't had a team since the ABA, the, the Colonels. Yeah, but, but, but Kentucky, Louis, Louisville, like, that's that, that whole little area, right? I ain't mentioned no Louisville. I you said Louisville. That. I oh, said hell no. <laughs> I said they got they, they, the, the, the... I told you they already have a WNBA arena over there. Uh, I don't know about they, that. I don't no, know about funny, Louisville. They built, they built an arena thinking they were going to get a, a WNBA team. So they you actually have an arena. You probably need to have the WNBA team where they have an NBA presence. No. Nah. So Philadelphia makes sense. No. Nah. Denver makes that's how they did with the that's how they did with the W the, the, Okay. What city? Why you think they ain't getting no love now? Why you think they ain't getting no love now? If Aces is in a the city, there ain't no NBA team out there. Lovely. They yeah. are there. 
fun. You want to be with, with women. You you don't want no other sport. You just want them so they can survive. Oh, okay. That's okay. how so they can Makes survive. Sense. Yeah. So now now you're you're forced. That's why I said the Louisville, there's the the girls run that city. So putting the WNBA team out there, they might have the biggest, you know, the biggest fast. What, what about what about bringing the comments back? Where at though? Houston. What was the? I mean, it's 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 all about the it's all about where you fit. Like you, you got to put it in cities where they're big enough to support the team, right? And there's really nothing else there, so they can focus. You got to treat it like college, right? right? Those big college programs. It's really you can put one in that that North Carolina, Duke, that area, right? Because you got three, you got three schools that's right there. So you can put one in in the middle of th those three. Was it NC State, right? You got NC. Yeah, the Raleigh Durham area. Yeah, you put it right. You put one right there. NC State, uh, Duke, and uh, Chapel Hill. Yeah. Durham and Chapel Hill. Yeah, that's what I said. I'll put one, I'll put one right there. Get get those, get those three. And that'd be actually um, that'd be a great place to put one. Well, you know, they they're gonna expand, they're gonna put an NBA team in Vegas. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they probably want to do it sooner than later. Cause I know LeBron, LeBron wants to be in that mix. Be, gonna Shaq be have, have said that he wants to be in that mix. Unless he wants to be under LeBron, ain't no chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gil. It's time for our last segment of the night, and it's a Q and A. Gold standard. How many game sevens did Michael Jordan have in his finals? Um, none. Never lost in the finals. <laughs> Jordan is the GOAT. No. Not true. Not no. true. <laughs> Are they doing that? How many, how many game sevens did he play? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Upgrade King said, Uncle Gill, Clay to the Lakers off the bench. Yes or no? Also, how hungry and motivated are the Nuggets after winning the championship last year? Much love, gentlemen. Uh, let, uh, listen, the Lakers will play, probably take a shot shot for him, and I'm pretty sure he'll start with the Lakers because that that's the type of player LeBron loves, right, yeah, guys? Yeah. Just flat out shoot it. Yep. I don't think I don't think Clay will leave everything he knows to come back home because technically this is not his home anymore. This is where he grew up, but it's not his home. The Bay Area is his home. Right. Um, what the was Nuggets that? The Nuggets, how motivated are they winning since they won last year? I can tell you this, and this is the only reason I don't give Jokic, I didn't vote, I, I wouldn't vote Jokic the MVP. Every championship team that came back the following year dominated. They dominated. Bulls, Golden State, Lakers, San Antonio. They, they, they were on the mission the following year. Go, Nuggets wasn't on a mission this year, right? There's there's nothing really this year for a long period of time where we're like, Nuggets is killing, right? They never went on the killing spree, right? Um, yeah, we know they're the most dangerous team because of Jokic, but they didn't, this year, they didn't seem like they put any real fear in anybody. It just seemed like they were just, there, just like, oh yeah, Nuggets. You know, they won again. They won again. They never really put foot to ass to me. I think, I, I think they're very motivated because you know there are a lot of teams that won one in a row. You want to be special, you got to double it up, mm -hmm. and you want to be really, really special. You, you, you know, you three peak. They haven't, they haven't been very many of those. Obviously, the Celtics won those eight straight in the eighties, uh, and then you had Shaq. I mean, you had Shaq in the early 2000s and you had Jordan do two three-peats in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So, But it doesn't happen very often. The Lakers never three-peated. Hell, mm -hmm. the Celtics, the great Celtics, they never went back-to-back. -back. No, yeah. Some of the people don't realize as great as they were, they never went back-to-back. -back. They, they won 81, 84, and 86. Yep. But they never, they never went back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. So going back-to-back, -back, obviously three-peats put you in rarefied air. 
ain't no, I, I don't believe I, in my lifetime, hell, I wasn't alive when, when the Celtics, there were only eight teams when they won their eight in a row. Mm -hmm. I don't believe somebody, I don't believe somebody win three, four in today's because injuries, I mean, the free. Now, Golden State had Kevin Durant not gotten hurt. Yeah, they would have won that one. Yep. They were going to win that one. Yeah. I mean, but, it, it, could, it could happen because these, these players now want to win. They know they know their legacy is built on winning. Uh mm -hmm. so it could happen where someone like a Paul George takes his talents to Denver and just say, I want to win. And if they win this year, now you added Paul George instead of uh KCP changes your team. So so those are th that's the type of stuff that could happen. Yeah. In I mean, today's could, game. What in the last in the last what? In the last decade, what? Well, I mean, you got to go back to what? In the last twenty years, you probably only had three. Let's see who went back to back. Braun went back to back with Miami. Kobe went back to back, and 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 Steph went back to back. Steph, that's it. Just three. Yeah, there's three back to backs in the, in, in, tw in, in two decades. Well, yeah, they, I mean. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you what, what was the urgency? Because the Lakers, because the Lakers won what? 2000, let's see, 99, 2000, 2001. No, 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 the Lakers three peated. Yeah. That's what, yeah, the Lakers three peated. Lakers, the yeah. Celtics, the, 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 the Celtics won an eight straight. And then you got Jordan two three peats in the, in the 90s. And then the Lakers, what did they do? 90, what was it? 2001, two, or 99, 2000. 99 to 2000, 2001, and 2002. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the, the uh, uh, Spurs won in 02. Spurs won in 99? Spurs yes. won in Spurs 99. That was the strike year. That was the strike year. 02. Yeah. And then, then the Lakers, huh? Lakers is 2000, 2001, 2002. Yeah. So, it's, so if the Nuggets went back to back, we're going to look at them different, Gil. Mm -hmm. You just do because – it doesn't happen that often. And when you look at some of that, you look at the great 76 er team, they didn't repeat. The great mm -hmm. Celtics, they didn't they didn't repeat. So you start talking, I mean, re, in, in NBA, repeats are rare. Yeah, repeats are rare. But, but look, we ain't got to worry about that because Lakers about to beat them in, what, about six? So we ain't got to worry about that at all. Lakers is six. They, they better not. They better not let that happen. Lakers is six. And you know what's so funny? And this is how this is how the world works. If Lakers do upset Denver, nobody's gonna make it a big deal. No one's gonna say, "Oh my God, where this this upset happened?" They're gonna be like, "Well, yeah, LeBron, they, they they got the team to do it." No one's gonna be surprised if it happens. No. But you know what they're going to say? Michael Jordan wouldn't even been in the play-in tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, but hold on. The Lakers wasn't in the uh, play-in tournament either. They was legit AC. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But show your ride. Kassan Thomas, what's up? Um, I'll trade you anybody off the grid except Job and Bain for those albums. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, give us Jer give us Jaron Jackson and GG Jackson, and uh, you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Kimber Norwood Jr. said, "What's up, Uncle Gil? My question is: What is the advice? What is the best advice you have gotten for a coach or given to a teammate? And Unc, don't let Stephen A. talk about your suit game. <laughs> the best, what's the best advice. What's the best advice? The best advice I ever got." Um, was from Chris Mullen. And I remember I was um I was training and he asked me, he said, uh, you know, what's your goal? And I told him my goal was to, to, to be in the NBA. He's like, okay, you're here. Now what's your next goal? And I said, what do you mean? He's like, if your goal as a child was to be in the NBA, you're in the NBA. Are you going to give up? Right. You to to move to star status, 
you need another goal now. You made it here. Don't mm -hmm. be an NBA player. That's the worst thing you can be as a NBA in the NBA NBA player. That the NBA players they want to party, drink, enjoy the life. Right. Like you sacrifice to get here, you have to sacrifice while you're here to become what your next dream is. Right. So he so I basically said, well, I never thought about it. Can I get some time? Went home, thought about it, came back the next day. And then from there, I understood how to train to get to where I was going. Yeah. And that's what I tweeted the WNBA. Your journey was to get to the WNBA. Hmm. Now a new journey starts that once you're here. The best advice I got, Mike Shanahan gave me. And he told me, he said, you never accept anything in a win, you wouldn't in a loss. Mm. A lot of times, you accept things in a win because we won. And you says, well, winning masks everything. Yep. But had you lost that game, would you be okay with it? And it really never dawned on me like that. Because one of my greatest games is he called me to his office. You know, I'm, you know, I'm feeling good. I had I had 10 for a buck 80 opening day. At the time, it was one of the top five opening day receiving games. I'm a tight end in mm -hmm. NFL history. Steve Antonopoulos, our trainer, say, uh, Mike, want to see you. I had just won offensive player. I just won offensive player of the week. The first time we had that award, I got the little gold, uh, uh, the little crystal uh, crystal football. So I feel like, man, you know, because he had been on me. I had surgery the offseason on my ankle. I really didn't participate in no OTAs really limited in training camp. So come out there the first game, drop 10 for a buck 80 on them. Buffalo. I get up there to his office and Mike sit down. He's like, uh, sit down, 84. And uh, he got the TV because sit, I'm sitting like right here. He's sitting in a chair like this and I'm sitting right there. And he cuts the TV on. And it's me. Mm -hmm. Bull jiving. <laughs> Miss a block. Not running, not you know, not running full speed. So he showed me about four or five plays, and he says, "I'll never accept anything in a win. I wouldn't have lost. Had we lost this game, this effort would have been un unacceptable. We won it; it's still unacceptable." Mm. The best advice I give people is that the same thing my grandfather told my brother and I: never mistake habit for hard work. People think because they do something over and over, they're working hard, Gil. That's yep. a habit. People go to the gym every day at 9 o'clock. People go to the gym every day at 6 o'clock. And body ain't changed since they was a kid. They went from adolescent to adulthood. And they ain't had nothing to do with no weights. I want a, I want a hard worker, not someone who works hard. <laughs> yep. So, man, that's what uh, – so I, I, never, I, ne I never forget that. Uh, 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 things that that like people tell me that really resonate with me and I you know certain things that I hear that I've heard all those years like my grandfather died in 1977 we're coming up on damn near 50 years and everything that he ever told my brother now everything that he ever spoke in my presence I can I can recite it verbatim Dude, everything not one thing he's ever said in my presence that I can't I can tell you where I was I can tell you what he said I can tell you the context and what he's in which he said it. Oh, you valued his voice. Oh, did I? He mm -hmm. was such a, he wasn't a, I mean, you know, when you eight years old, hell, everybody's gargantuan, but he wasn't a, a lot. Papa probably was about five, eight, probably weighed 255 wide. You know, I come, from, you know, my uncle's wide. They were farmers, manual labor. So they, mm -hmm. they were, they were, they were, they were, weren't tall men, but they were wide men. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Ho, what is, who is Ho? Oh, who are your top five actors of all time? Who are your top five, Gil? Ooh, top Man, five. it's hard to get a top five. Do y'all yeah. realize what y'all... That's, that's yeah. harder than saying who are your top five NBA players, who are your top five NFL players, who are your top five... Man, that's hard. I got Denzel, L uh, Will Smith, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, <laughs> Jack Nicholson and I like Jack. I uh, like Denzel. Is it uh Anthony Hopkins? That's a nice list, bro. That's really a nice list. I would definitely have Denzel. I mean, that's hard to have a list where you don't have Tom Hanks on it. 
Love Jack Nichols, uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. That's three. A guy that doesn't get nearly, nearly the credit that he deserves, who had incredible range, was Robin Williams. Robin Williams, yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. And what's old boy name? Uh, he was in There Will Be Blood. He was in Lincoln. What's the guy? Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. I go back and forth between Daniel Day Lewis and Anthony Hopkins, but every time I think of Anthony Hopkins, I think about Silence of the Lambs. And of that Lambs. might that might be one of the greatest roles. Yeah. That awful Jack Crawford and Clarice Stallings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you come down here before you booted off the case? Like you know, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. You know what I like about Eddie Murphy and Will Smith? They they are well rounded. Oh they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They play all kind of roles. Yeah. I know I have Eddie in there, but um, Jamie Fox, J Jamie, but uh, Eddie. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I mean, we didn't we didn't meet, we, we didn't mention Al Pacino. We didn't Robert mention Clint Eastwood. We didn't mention Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. God, <laughs> and I mean, then you, you start of... going back, you start getting Brando, and, and, and you start getting Yul Brenner. You Morgan start, Freeman. Yeah, you know, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. There's some great ones out there. But we only got five spots. We only got five spots. Five spots. Uh, Jay Rain said, hello, Nightcap fam, making a sacrifice, spending money on Super Chat. Got to get my car to the tow yard. I've been moving all night back downstairs, get my car gone with all my belongings. Man, come on, bro. How you, bro? First of all, you know you owe, and you parking out there in broad day like you know they're looking for that. <laughs> they got the hitch ready for you. Dude man, probably man. was out there polishing that hitch up. Man, come on, you don't know, man. You got to take your license plate off, man. Every time you go upstairs, take your license plate he off. He said, bro, he said, I've been moving all night, came back downstairs, and my car was gone with all my belongings. Damn. Well, I mean, I don't know how much money he sent, but he's a couple more dollars show. <laughs> <laughs> man he didn't let you get your stuff out <laughs> damn bro we shouldn't be laughing <laughs> hey well we wouldn't have knew about it had he not have told it <laughs> you're right you're right you're right Harvey said Gil you're a real one we in Louisville would, would, be, would forever be grateful for a WNBA team no, nah, they will. I mean, yeah. you know, they, they only have. I mean, they got the what? They got you know the basketball team down there, and they got the Derby, the Kentucky Derby. You ever been to the Derby? No. Nah. You got to go. You got to go once. It's an experience. It's unbelievable. But what my is, guy was, is once my guy get back reinstated, so next year I think my guy Bob Baffert, Bob, if you're out there watching, I'm gonna go check it out because uh, I, I met him. I met him when I went down there. I met him, uh, uh, D. Wayne Lucas. Uh, 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 who else did I meet? I met somebody else, another one. I forget his name. Um, but once he, like, once he gets reinstated, I go back down there. He, uh, trained, uh, American Pharaoh and Justify, uh, the last two Triple Crown winners before, uh, after that. I mean, people thought that, uh, uh, the Triple Crown was easy because you had Seattle Salou win it in 77 and you had a firm win it in 80 in 78. Mm -hmm. And then hell, spectacular bid came up the lad. So you almost had three triple crowns, and then you had Secretary in '73 on with Ron Turcotte, and she was out of the uh, uh, Penny Ch uh, Chinnery uh, uh, stable, the chestnut coat. But it's a, it's an experience, Gil. You got you got to go for the pageantry, and you got to have a hat, Gil. It's all about the hat. You go down there. Oh. I mean, you see women women be barefooted, or women have their heels in their hand. But they have the flyers. They have the flyers hat out there. What what is the Kentucky Derby again? Is that horse horse racing? Horse, horse racing. racing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's ugly. Hey, party's nice too. Got to try one of the more mint juleps. I ain't I ain't really big into it, but hey, you got to say I had. I got it. Got to say I had it. But uh, uh <laughs> I hope they got a strip club at the Kentucky Derby because that's all I'm going there for. 
Oh, I mean, hey, they be some, they be some, they be they be down there not giving. They be down there, yeah, they be down there. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. You know, okay. I would, I would, I would look it too hard because you know I was, I was uh, <laughs> I was, you know, I was with somebody, but they be down, they be down, they be nice who down there now. Oh no, I don't do. I, I look. I don't care who I with. I'm gonna huh? look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> if I don't look, then you notice I noticed it. And then now I'm purposely not looking on something I already looked at because obviously I know it's there. See, that reverse psychology don't work. I look. Yeah. No. You see, no. I like we say, oh, do you see that fight? You see that fine girl? I'm like, where? What can yeah, where? Oh, you hell yeah, I saw her. I saw her way before you did. I was hoping you alert me. Yeah, I saw her. You damn right. My spotty system started tingling. Fine girl alert. Fine girl alert. Well, well. So you know, you play it off. Oh, where? where? Oh Lord, yes she is. Uh, uh I, all I do is sit and watch uh, seeking sister wives. <laughs> oh my, just man. <laughs> I just be sitting there like, yo, how do y'all pulling this off, man? This is I watch everything on Netflix and Hulu. <laughs> uh, no. I don't, I don't really. Uh. Gil, who was a bigger King Jackson eleven asked Gil, who was a bigger menace to your their teammates, you or Shaq? Ooh. Ooh. See, I don't, I don't. I've heard stories about Shaq. Um, I was a I was a big prankster. I'm not even gonna lie. Like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I can't. I can't. I don't know what he's done on us. This is the funny story, though. Like, <laughs> this is why, like, people like Shaq is, is needed. We're in All-Star Weekend Vegas. It was All-Star Weekend Vegas, and John Amici just came out, and the NBA set us down in the locker room and said, hey, John Amici, boom, 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 uh, please do not respond to it right they're giving us the whole speech right do not respond because i guess tim hardaway when banana is over it right um soon as the media came in shaq put on a silver thong like the jock strap thong <laughs> yeah and said John Amici, y'all. I'm John Amici. And everyone, <laughs> everyone just started dying laughing because no, it was the funniest thing ever. Just big shit. Just John, John Amici, y'all. John Amici. Oh, have mercy. How you doing? I, I'm sure David Stern, like, Lord, have mercy. Didn't I just tell y'all not to say anything about this? Yeah, yeah, the first thing they do as soon as he come in there wearing, wearing a uh, gold, a silver thong in there talking about John, John Amici, y'all. Thank you guys for joining us for a very special edition of Nightcap Play in Style. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number zero, Arizona Wildcat legend, wizard, warriors, uh, magic. You play with anybody else? I wasn't, I wasn't a legend there. <laughs> I was more like the water boy. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was more like the water boy, unk. <laughs> Gilbert the readers. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you listen through the Nightcap and signed up and subscribe to the Nightcap feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shay by Laportier. I thank you even more for showing patience as we fill your orders, but we are getting to those, getting those to you as soon as possible. Guys, please make sure you go out and vote for us. We're nominated for the Webby Best Sports Podcast. Please make sure you go out and vote. Nightcap. Up, Ocho and Gil, best sports podcast, Webby. We're in for, currently in first place, and it's thanks to you. Make sure you subscribe to the Gilbert Arena's cha Gil Arena channel. It's on YouTube. He has a show that airs every Monday through Thursday live at 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. That's Gil's Arena channel on YouTube, and the show airs every Monday through Thursday live at 11.30 a.m. Pacific. Gil also has his personal YouTube page, and it's called No Chill Gill. Please make sure you subscribe to his personal page. And it's called No Chill Gill. Let's get his subs. Let's get those subs up. Again, the Lakers hold off the Pelicans and win in the playing tournament. They are the seventh seed. They take on the Nuggets. Saturday will be the first game. They win that game 110 to 106. 
and the Sacramento Kings in the 9-10 matchup between the Golden State Warriors. They blow out the Warriors and now take on the Pelicans for the right to be the eighth seed and take on the OKC Thunder. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite, Uncle Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite, number zero, Gilbert Arenas. We're out. Peace.